So now it's time to size the duct. To do that, it's going through all the variables, which is knowing the flow rate. Then when we look at that flow rate through a range of different duct sizes, we get velocities. So that is looking at the flow rate divided by the duct area. And then we have the pressure drop calculation. The key to sizing a duct accurately is you want to have sized the duct too small, meaning really high velocity, really high pressure drop like we have here. And you want to have sized one way too big, really low velocity, really low pressure drop. The reason being is until you've done that, you can't find the perfectly accurately sized one, which will be in the middle. If you went with the small one, really high velocities, pressure drops, meaning noisy and inefficient. Going with the big one, yeah, very low answers, but it's gonna be really expensive and take up a lot of space. So that is why you need to do your calculations, find your sweet spot, and that is the duct sized.